want some help and advice on how to go about protecting yourself and your family from the coronavirus. Or if you do, keep watching because we are going to run through some things that you can do to keep you and your loved ones safe from the coronavirus. Okay, first things first, I think as a whole, we all need to be a bit more mindful of other people. So while this might not necessarily be a huge risk to those who are otherwise fit and healthy, we do know that it is really quite dangerous for the elderly and those with compromised immune systems. So my first piece of advice is to follow what the government is saying. I have just returned from Sainsbury's and the amount of people that were walking around coughing and spluttering all over the place, no face mask on, nothing, just coughing out there. The government have already said if you have a cough or a fever, self-isolate, stay at home, err on the side of caution essentially. People, in Britain anyway, are clearly not doing this and that is really really selfish for those who are elderly or do have compromised immune systems for you to just carry on about your day this is hard for everyone but people will die off the back of this so that's the severity of this particular coronavirus the covid 19. now at this point let's throw in some facts the coronavirus does not breed on surfaces it takes a human host for it to breed so it being on your surfaces that's not going to so much affect you but it will be there waiting for a human host to pick it up and that's when it kicks in so it is important that we keep our surfaces clean and sterile let's discuss something that i speak to you guys about a lot it is c before d what that is is clean before you disinfect cleaning and disinfecting are very separate things like i've said to you guys before and what you want to be doing is actually cleaning to get rid of any dirt but disinfecting to get rid of the virus Cleaning alone is not going to do it, I'm afraid, to be the bearer of bad news. It is not going to cut the mustard. So if you're just going around kind of cleaning your house, um, that, that isn't going to be sufficient enough for this particular type of virus. Anyone who has been unwell in your house, this is just a general rule across the board, whether it's a sickness bug, whether it's a flu, whether it's a cough or a cold, what you should be doing is separating your laundry and washing those particular things on a 60 degree wash at least. So things like towels and stuff, don't share them, make sure that everyone has a separate towel, this should go without saying anyway, but it's just being a bit more mindful at the moment of things like that. So, um, especially given how fast this virus seems to be spreading, it is a good idea if anyone in your house is poorly, just to make sure that you have got a separate, um, whether you use a black bin bag or you wanna go and buy yourself a cleaning hamper, like for the laundry, just separate it from the rest of your family stuff and make sure you wash it separately as well on the hottest wash possible, ideally 60 degrees or more. Now let's move on to bleach. I have always championed bleach, mainly because it is so cheap, it's really quite cost effective. I feel if you've got like a lot of people in your household, it just works. My nan always used bleach, my mum uses bleach, it's just something that I've grown up and I do know that it is the most effective thing when it comes to killing off viruses, germs and bacteria. Household bleach has a concentration of 4.5 to 5% and with bleach you need around 0.5% to kill off the COVID-19 virus on your surfaces and in and around your home. Bleach breaks down the biological structures that make up the virus, thus killing it off really quite quickly. We want to sanitize the high traffic areas in our house. The reason we wanna do this is by using the bleach and the water solution, 
this will minimize the risk of potentially getting the virus if it is lurking on any of the high touch surfaces by about 90% which is quite high so you want to focus on areas like light switches door handles banisters computer keyboards computer tables mouses not the animals the computer mouse um, any kind of high touched area you need to be focusing on now let's debunk a myth there is a vicious rumor spreading like wildfire that if you mix bleach with hot water it renders it useless basically it doesn't work it's not true okay it's not true those of you that watched OC cleaners would have seen many many times me using bleach in and around my home and when we would swab most of the items that I bleached I would get a reading of maybe one or sometimes even zero which is as clean as a surgeon's knife you heard it here first so by mixing it is true that if you store bleach in a warm area it it will ruin the bleach that you've got basically it won't work as well as it should so store it in like a cool area but to mix it with hot or warm water it won't render it inactive that doesn't happen so whoever's sharing that for the masses i'm here to tell you it's a vicious lie you heard it here first guys on the Hayley's Help channel. And actually, warm or hot water, in fact, helps the bleach along. It speeds up its effectiveness because there is more kinetic energy in hot and warm water than there is in cold. You're welcome. When it comes to situations like this, and I want to embark on a deep clean throughout my whole house, I like to use the Cinderella method. I've spoken about this with you guys before, and basically the reason that I love to do this particular method is because when you're low to the floor, so basically when you're mopping, you're like Gary the Giant. You're up here, you can't really see what's all the way down there because you're so far away unless you've got like super magnified unless you're kind of like that but even these reading glasses and texting glasses they're still not that they're not that strong so you can't see what's actually um, lurking on the floor and around the skirting boards and on the base of your cupboards whereas when you do the Cinderella method which is kind of on your hands and knees cleaning um, you become Andrew the Ant and when you're that little ant, Gary the Giant can't see it but Andrew the Ant, he's like, Gary mate, there's a Hovis factory down here, look, I've just found myself five bags of white bread, like, and then the little ant can clean that up because it's going mouldy, it's like, it's no good, it's past its sell by date, it's mouldy bread, these are the crumbs that are on your floor. But, you know, the little ant can see it because it's closer and it's smaller and in proportion, you know? So, and then around the kickboards of your um, cupboards, there might be a tomato ketchup explosion. Again, Andrew and the ant can visibly see this. It's like a sea of red. But Gary the giant is like, I can't see it. I'm too far away. So, this is why I like to do the Cinderella technique and become Andrew the Ant. Hand washing is another key thing you need to keep on top of currently. You should be doing it anyway, but it's even more important to do it now. I have been speaking about this for a long time now. Do the happy birthday song twice, whether it's in your head, whether you sing it out loud, whether you make a game of it with your kids, whatever you want to do, do the happy birthday song twice and make sure you wash your hands thoroughly, getting into all the gaps. 
underneath your nails um, and obviously make sure you go up to kind of the wrist area and then once you are done, I actually, what I've been doing at the moment is I've literally just been letting them air dry. I don't use the hand dryers. I don't want to touch towels. So, like if I was in a restaurant or wherever, I mean, I haven't been in any restaurants, but I'm just saying like, I would rather just like dry them off and let them air dry so that I know that they're staying clean as opposed to potentially recontaminating my hands by using um, a cloth that I don't know whether that's clean or not. Um, I guess a push kitchen roll would be useful to use, but ideally, I just like to let them air dry and then I'm just like, I'm just so common, aren't I? I'm just like, <laughs> I just left this, oh no, yeah, I'll just wipe it on my trousers. <laughs> I don't, I literally just do this and then they're like, Done. So that is another thing that we need to keep on top of. It is hand washing, use warm water, not cold water, and make sure you do it through the happy birthday song twice. Well done. Thanks for watching today's vlog guys. I hope you have all enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead and smash the like button. Share this with people who might find it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to the Haley's Help channel for some more Haley's Help content. We will have Haley's Hotel Horrors back on Tuesday, so tune in for that. And in the meantime, look after yourselves, take care of one another, Come here, don't panic, we're all gonna be fine. Let's all have a group hug and sing Kumbaya, my lord. And remember this, nothing spreads faster than fear. I love you guys, till next time, adios.